Hey guys, today we're going to go over some upgrades over a standard unit, some maintenance, some safety, and a few things that you guys should do once you have your machine. We have wear-in parts and just common uh, maintenance, so we're going to go over some of that with you guys. So your tracks are one of them. When you are starting to run your machine, it's going to break in the tracks, they're going to stretch a little bit. The tensioner is very simple. There's a nut right inside here in your undercarriage. You just tighten that nut up some and that'll give you some track uh, tension. You don't want these super tight. You want to have a little bit of play to them. That way when you're twisting and turning, you don't have them snap or, or something go bad and start to tear. So just a little bit of play to them and they're good. You don't need them you know, laying on the undercarriage, but you don't need them so tight you can play the piano off of them. A uh, few other things. The engine, you know, everybody has their own recommendations. Mine is going to be simply, you bought a brand new machine and you want it to last. So it's a new machine that's going to have break-in metal and burrs and stuff. Change that oil no more than 25 hours. I would say between 5 and 10. That way it gets that, the metal particulates out of your oil and you guys can keep your machine, you know, running longer. Uh, a few of the safety things. So some folks are commenting about being a little bit louder and stuff. You should always wear earplugs and I know in some of my videos I don't. I'm just a, a farm boy and I should really concentrate on that stuff a little bit more. Safety glasses, earplugs are things that you should have when you're running any machinery. When you're running a lawnmower you should have them in. I'm sure you've all gotten off the lawnmower and your ears are ringing. You know that's a little bit of hearing loss every time. Uh, a few of the upgrades that we do. We have an adjustable seat. We have a four post canopy. We have the upgraded blade with curl protection and edge protection. We have gone to the lay flat thumb. I mentioned that in my other video there. So this is our lay flat thumb. And I have my loggers in mind on the first ones we brought over. And I have had a lot of uh, requests for our lay flat. So now everything's gonna be lay flat unless you guys tell me otherwise. You need to tell me if you're gonna want a log and grapple gra uh, thumb. That way I can order it because that's not something we're gonna do standard anymore. Our new standard is a lay flat. The other thing is the cylinders. They all have uh, needle grease fittings, and then our heads are welded solid at the head. You'll have companies that they actually have a rod weld. They'll come in a two-piece, they'll do a rod weld, and that just makes a weak point on your units. So all of ours are head. They're repackable cylinders, that's the other thing. You know, they're not solid welds. They're a little bit more expensive to do a repackable, but obviously, if you can repack it, you're better off. That way you can put seals in them for a couple bucks and be back on, your, on the way. Uh, Every one of our machines is going to have manuals. It is something else that is not going to come, you know, your, your people that want to do Alibaba obviously can do it. And once you add the upgrades, once you pay $2,000 for shipping, once you pay the tariff, which is 25%, let's say even if you pay $5,000, let's do $5,000. Make it easy, easy math. We're going to do a 25% tariff. There's $1,250. The shipping is roughly 2,000, somewhere in that neighborhood. So now we're at 8,250. You have to do a customs broker fee. You have to do ISF forms, IPP, devanning. Devanning, if, even if you have a Twix card, you gotta go to the port and pick it up and you're gonna get a devanning fee. You, if you don't have a Twix card, you gotta get it freighted to a storage warehouse and then you can pick it up from there. Once you pick your unit up, then you're still responsible for assembly, anything that's not together, or if they if they messed up your order. Say you ordered a three-ton unit, you get it, and it's a two-ton unit. You got your machine. That's what they're going to give you. They're not going to ship it back. They're not going to do anything. Over here, you can come and look at our units. You can test them out. You can drive them. We try to give everybody the most accurate information, and we have now 12, 15 videos up. This is all for you guys. You know, We're doing this so that you guys have the information for an affordable unit that isn't going to break the bank, and you can feel comfortable when you get in it. We do the best we can to make sure that everything that we know, you guys know. I'm not ever going to say it's a Bobcat or it's a Kubota, but it don't cost like a Bobcat or a Kubota. And, you know, in our one ton, in our, our bigger ones, above a one ton unit with just your one ton, we go right into a Kubota diesel, either a D722 or a D902 or a V1505, whatever it is, depending on the size. And because of you guys' request, we are now up to about a three ton unit and a true three ton unit it's it's about a couple hundred pounds light but you know we're getting closer as we make upgrades and as we start to tweak some things 
The other thing that uh, we want to keep in mind, these come with rubber tracks. So if you wanted to do a machine that had steel tracks, you are going to be at a five, six, seven, eight hundred pound difference. So there's a lot of things that you know you guys are trying to consider as you're buying a machine. If you haven't got a chance to watch all of our videos, we've done lifting capacity, safety procedures, upgrades, and then as we go through, we're going to leave them up. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you see a video from a couple months ago, some of the prices might have adjusted slightly. Nothing's going to be a big difference, but some might be a little bit different. And if you guys are interested, just give us a call at 570-765-9338, and we'll be happy to see you guys and help you out. Have a good one, fellas.